The 12.7 kilometre long Queens Road option would connect to the Hume Freeway at the existing Wandong interchange. The existing interchange at the Hume Freeway would be upgraded with a new free-flowing overpass and new ramps. This would reduce the slope for vehicles exiting the freeway and a dedicated lane would assist trucks to accelerate. A new connection would be made to O'Grady's Road and Broadhurst Lane. The bypass would generally follow the existing Epping Hillmore Road. A new connection would be made to Matheson's Road. The bypass would then run to the south side of the existing road to avoid residences and roadside vegetation. The new bridge would provide gentler slopes across Broadhurst Creek, eliminating the Big Dipper. This would also provide a wildlife underpass for animals moving along Broadhurst Creek. The existing road would be retained as a local access road. After crossing Broadhurst Creek, the bypass heads in a northerly direction across the valley to take advantage of gentler natural landform and remove two sharp 90 degree bends in the existing Epping Kilmore Road. Connections would be made to the existing Epping Kilmore Road and Millard's Road. The bypass would then follow the existing Epping Kilmore Road as it leads past a new roundabout at Quinns Road towards the Northern Highway. The bypass would connect to the Northern Highway with a large roundabout eliminating the existing T intersection with the Epping Kilmore Road. This connection would provide greater choice and flexibility for people wanting to bypass Kilmore or access the Hume Freeway. At Quinns Road, the bypass would turn north at the new roundabout. The bypass runs to the east side of Quinns Road, avoiding the natural roadside vegetation. Intersections would be provided at McIvers Road. The bypass would run along the west side of the electrical substation. At Tootle Street, a new connection would be provided to the east with provision for a future connection to residential areas to the west. The bypass would then turn northwest, running parallel to Anderson Road. Anderson Road would be retained as a local access road and would not be connected to the bypass. The bypass then travels along the western edge of the Monument Hill Reserve, avoiding the reservoir golf course, race course and cricket ground and utilises the gentler sloping section of the reserve. The bypass would follow Hunts Road, preserving the native vegetation buffer along the east side of the race course, minimising any visual impacts for Hunts Road and Monument Road residents. A new road would be built for Hunts Road residents to access the Kilmore East Road. As the bypass is on the lower slope of Monument Hill, it would not be visible from the top of Monument Hill or from the Kilmore Township. Through the Monument Hill Reserve, the width of the road would be kept to a minimum through the use of curb drains and wire rope safety barriers to minimise vegetation clearance. 
connection would be made to Monument Road South on the east side and an emergency access to Anderson Road would be provided on the west side. Another emergency access would be provided to Hunts Road and Monument Road North on the east side of the bypass. A new bridge would be built over Kilmore East Road and Hunts Road. The option would pass through the southern edge of the equine precinct, avoiding the higher density residential areas and use cleared land where possible. Intersection connections would provide access to Kelly's Lane. A shared pathway under the new road would allow pedestrians, cyclists and horse traffic to cross safely. The bypass would connect to the Northern Highway near Costello's Road with a large roundabout that provides safe and efficient movement for all vehicles, particularly large trucks. The bypass would then use the existing Northern Highway before connecting to another large roundabout at the intersection of the Northern Highway and the Broadford-Kilmore Road.